So we've got everything set up. We've written our input tables. So it's time to run the SWOT model. So uh, the button's hidden on mine. It just depends. It's just because of what, the way my toolbar is. But if you go to SWAT simulation and then run SWAT, now you see that we've got um, to tell it how long to run. And there's an awful lot to play with here. And I confess to that I don't know much at all about um, all the different options on here, but this is all good stuff to play with. What we are going to do is we're going to run it for, um, well, we're going to run it for a few years. We're not going to run it from 1902. Um, matter of fact, let's not, let's just go ahead and type in directly. So we're going to run it from, say, 1990. And we're going to end it on December 31st of 2010. All right, let's run it for 20 years. And of course, you know, we're simulating the data or simulating weather data so we could let it run for um, much longer and run into the future if we want. But um, so January 1st, 1990 to December 31st of 2010. Now, um, I'm going to change this to 64-bit release version. Not real sure what the difference is, but I do think the release version runs faster. And I'm running a 64-bit version of Windows, so I assume I can run this one. Um, as far as, you know, this has, has to do with how it allocates memory. Don't think it's a big deal, one way or the other. Um, printout settings, I want to set it to daily. So I want to see my output on each day for that 10 year, 20 year period. Um, now you've got NY skip. That's the number of years at the start of the simulation that it's going to skip and not output data. The model actually needs a warm up period. So each year in the model is based upon the previous year, which is based upon the previous year, just like in real life. But since you're starting from scratch, the first few years are going to be a little erratic. And so usually something like a three-year skip. So 1990, 1991, 1992 will be run, but nothing will be output from them. But by three years, you would expect it to sort of um, be a realistic model, and then you can uh, go ahead and output the rest of the data. Um, now, I'm not sure exactly what, if we're supposed to check some of these. I don't remember checking any of these. I think it's going to output the data in a number of databases, whether or not we check these. So we're going to skip these for right now. Um, so once you've got it all set up, click Set Up SWAT Run. And so now it's set up for the SWAT Run. And look at that. You can run SWAT. So let's do it. And you'll notice in this DOS box, executing year one, two, three, those went pretty quickly. And now it's getting slowing down. But realize that for every day, for 365 days, for each of those years, it's running this complicated model, which involves plant growth and weather and runoff and groundwater flow and everything. It's running it for each one of those HRUs in each one of those sub-watersheds, and then it's summarizing over all of those. So it's pretty complicated, and you can see that it's running pretty quickly. So I'm very impressed with this. And there's our 20th year. And it looks like it ran successfully. So now we can cancel out of this. And if you go back to SWAT simulation, you see now you have the option to read the SWAT output. And here you can look at the different output files. 
And this is where we need to get a lot more. We need to study this a lot more. Um, for example, you've got output specific to the HRUs, to the subwatersheds, the sediment output, the reservoir. Um, but the documentation explains what's in each of these. And so you can look at these by, you can look at the output.std, or you can check these and uh, put them into databases, and then you can work with the raw data. SWAT check is a program you can run that's going to throw up any red flags. If any of the outputs that you get from the model look funny, it's going to give you areas to check that, that suggest that maybe the, the model needs to be calibrated more. We're not going to get into that right now. And then, if you want, you can save your simulation. Just give it a name here. So, um, we'll talk later about looking at the data and explaining what the data are. But that's basically running a SWOT model. So, enjoy and good luck.